Hello, hello, hello. Um, <laughs> I'm back for a second video. This is a continuation to the first video I made of 2020 anime TikTok. And uh, I just figured out this mic isn't really doing nothing and it's kind of making my quality sound a little goo. So it's powered off. I'm just using it for the aesthetic now. <laughs> I'll probably go into more detail um, on in this video because I actually have my iPad here with me and I made a little notes on topics <laughs> I want to go into this video so not everything is coming out my ass and from the top of my head right now I actually have topics written down so yeah now I don't want to talk too much for the intro so I'll go into the first topic of this video which is <laughs> made outfits um now I I don't know why everyone or a lot of people in 2020 were posting with maid costumes like they would uh, dance in maid costumes, draw their favorite characters in maid costumes, they would just fantasize maid costumes and I'm just like, okay, um, I don't really see the appeal of it, um, it might go into a little kink thing, I don't know, cause like a lot of them liked being called, um, what is it, master and I'm just like, that's all you bro go for it i don't have a problem with the maid outfits though because like a lot of the fan art did look good <laughs> but then again they were weirdos that did fuck it up for people because i remember there'd be those like disgusting weebs that would go into like a japanese girl's comments that would wear like maid costumes and be like my IOL waifu i found her in real life and, <laughs> and it was weird as hell no brother Ooh. Okay, talking about the maid stuff, it's reminding me of the anime Maid Sama, and I, I know Maid Sama does not have the best rip on anime TikTok right now, but personally, I loved it. I'm not gonna deny it. I loved that show in middle school. Usui, that was my man in middle school. I loved him, but personally, I don't think I really want him. <laughs> Cause to be, uh, to be fair, he kind of did stalk her a little bit. I don't even know if it's a little bit. Like she repeatedly said, "I don't want you following me," and then he did. Yeah, um, don't do that. If someone tells you, stop following me, don't don't even follow people in the first place, you know? But yeah, good show, I really liked it. But yeah, I didn't have a problem with anyone like dancing in the maid outfits. They were just having fun, they weren't hurting nobody. It was, that was it at the time, like people were eating that shit up. Okay, next topic, BLs. Now, I don't have a problem with BLs, but for some reason in 2020 on my For You page, like so many people we're recommending the weird BLs that had some shit going on. Um, a lot of the time it was sexual assaults. Um, yeah, or I don't know why. Like the most popular one that I kept seeing on my For You page, Painter of the Night. And I was like, hmm, the art style is so pretty. I wanna see what's going on. I dropped it so fast, oh my goodness. Like I feel Painter of the Night was like a waste of talent because the art is beautiful. That art is mwah, spectacular, but the story, um, <laughs> it had me a little uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it got better. I don't know. I haven't touched that shit in years, but a lot of people seem to like it. So maybe it did get better. I don't know. Another BL I remember seeing all the time was BJ Alex. Now, BJ Alex, I read it. Um, I got so much secondhand embarrassment reading that. Oh my goodness. I was cringing so much. It was like, it was so cringe. Okay, I had to go search up their names in BJ Alex because I have not touched that shit in years. But I only really remember the main popular scenes, I guess. For example, um, when Dong Yoon went and, um, <laughs> When Dong Yoo went on Ji Won's live and exposed them, I had to turn off my screen from that. I remember just, I remember just, oh my goodness. And then the other scene where Dong Yoo is. You know, I'm not gonna go into too much detail for that one, but you can imagine so. That was a little. Um, I just remembered this one other BL. Okay, it's Obey Me. Now, 
Let me tell you a little story about Obey Me real quick, okay? On TikTok, on my For You page, when people would be talking about Obey Me, me, I thought they were talking about the game Obey Me. I was like, oh my goodness, yes, I love this game so much. I'm so happy I got a manga. This is gonna be so fun. So I went on TikTok search and searched up Obey Me manga. And yes, Obey Me does have a manga. It looks really pretty. I found a different type of Obey Me they were talking about. And I was like, this don't look like a baby, what is this? And so I go and see the art for a baby, you know? And I was like, these characters are kind of ugly. Um, wow. And I see like weird shit going on. I was like, this is not the old baby I know. Where, where is my goat Simeon? Where's Mamon? Like what? So I exit out, forget about it, move on, right? And then my friend, one day, she was like, oh, Gochi, read this. And she sent me a link and I click on that link. I didn't know it was Obey Me. I, I don't know how I didn't know, but I, it was the chapter with the, where is it at? Where is it at? It was a chapter with this. With the and I'm just like, <laughs> I'm looking at that chapter, reading it dumbfounded. I was like, Oh my goodness, what the freak? It was so, oh my gosh. It was a little, um, not even a little, it was very like, what the hell? Um, hmm. But yeah, that's all I really have to say about BLs. Um, I don't really read most of them, but there's definitely good ones out there. Like on the top of my head, Classmates, I watched it, it was fire. I loved it, it was so cute. But I heard the author BJ Alex came out with something new and I don't know. I, some people say it's weird, some people say it's good. I have no clue because I didn't read it. But I don't really read much. I'm not gonna lie, all, all I kind of read now are like shoujo <laughs> and Jujutsu Kaisen. Goku Raku Guy is fire too, like I recommend you read that. But what y'all need to read for real? This right here, Perfect World by Rie, Ag Rie Aruga and Lovesick Ellie by Fujimomo. I got a little secondhand embarrassment from this one, but like it was, ended up being cute. And Perfect World is bittersweet. It almost made me shed a couple tears. I'm not finished with the series, but it's really, really good so far. I really hope these get popular because I want anime adaptations for them so bad. I don't know why like weird shit like my wife turned into an elementary schooler. I don't know why shit like that is getting anime adaptations, but these aren't when these are way better and actually fire but whatever not whatever i'm actually upset about that okay okay next topic next topic um plushies now everyone is aware of the plushies especially the oikawa plushie now i don't know why that oikawa plushie in particular was subjected to so much trauma and abuse and was just going through so much. But I remember one day I went on Amazon to search up that Oikawa plushie because I wanted him for myself because Oikawa was one of my favorite Haikyuu characters and still is to this day. I'm a Kuro girl though. But I searched it up and I was like, this shit is sold out. And I was low-key annoyed because I was like, these people on TikTok, they're just ruining this plushie. They don't deserve this plushie. And I was sitting there like just a little cackling at them, destroying the Oikawa plushies. I was so bitter, but like, I wasn't at the same time because I wanted that plushie so bad. Like, I would, oh my goodness. I was like, I would treat this plushie so much better. I would wrap him up in my blanket and chill and treat him right. And, <laughs> but I was still laughing and liking the videos of Oikawa getting abused. Um, <laughs> and now that Haikyuu is popular again, people are going back to their old ways and abusing that Oikawa plushie and yet again, subjecting him to violence. <laughs> but, and now 2024 still, Oikawa is now titled the worst anime villain of all time. The most evil, the most cruelest of all time, actually. Okay, our next thing, crunchy cosplays. I had zero problem with these cosplays. I thought they were the funniest thing ever. They're still funny now, I'm not gonna lie. And at the time, I found it even funnier when they would do it in the shower bathtub with the water just running down on that that was hilarious at the time oh my goodness and i remember these cosplays they would either just be a uh, hunter hunter 
or Haikyuu and Beastars, those three in particular. Again, there's not much to say about these cosplays, but I just wanna say thank you because I did have a great laugh at them in 2020. And even now, looking and finding pictures and videos of them, I was laughing a good lot. Thank you. Okay, next, copy pastas. I'm not gonna lie, copy pastas, they get old real fast. They are not that funny anymore. Like Anime TikTok 2020, this was your average comment section. And even now, today, on TikTok, copy pastas are still on damn near every video. <laughs> it's getting old, please, please. And I don't know why, like fandoms, they will milk out the same exact copy pastas over and over and over again. Like, if you're gonna do a copy pasta, like, at least come up with something new so it doesn't get old so fast. Like, it got so unfunny. If you find them funny, that's all you. Like, I'm not judging you at all. But like, me personally, I don't find them funny. Okay, I'm kind of excited to talk about this one. <laughs> um, Attack on Titan fandom when season four dropped. I don't know what it is, but season four of Attack on Titan had people acting like a little crazy. They lost their senses. They did not know how to act at all. Even though people were acting a fool, it was very fun too, because I remember the My War and Levitating remix. That was fire. And the dances they would make. Oh my goodness, I missed that. It was fun. Speaking about Attack on Titan fandom in 2020, I would like to bring up something called the seven minutes Aaron Yeager fanfic. <gasps> that fanfic had people acting a damn fool. They did not know how to behave. They even went out of their way to go and harass the author to drop new chapters, which led the author to delete the entire fanfic. And that's just wild to me because it's just like, it's a normal fanfic. Why can't we be normal? Behave. I wonder what the author is doing. I mean, I wonder how the author is doing. Like, where are they at now? I hope they're okay. Because that's freaking crazy. Um, because of that, I didn't get to read the fanfic. I did not get to enjoy what everyone was talking about. I would only see TikToks about it. But yeah, that shit had people going crazy. I remember hearing about people putting earrings on their coat because Aaron supposedly had a tongue piercing in that fanfic. Like, what the hell? And then I remember people, they would get like, a necklace, lie down, and dangle it, pretending that Aaron was going down on them. What the hell? That's like, that's a little, ugh, that's like, I don't even know what to say about that. Okay, but hearing the season four theme song for the very first time, it was so fire. That's an experience I can never feel again. It was amazing. I loved it so much. All right, it's getting a little dark outside. I, I should hurry this video up now. But next thing would be shifting. Now, shifting, it always sounded fun to me and I don't wanna sound bitter, but if I end up do sounding bitter about the shifting, then that's just cause I'm jealous cause I never got to shift. But sometimes I thought some of y'all were lying because it was always the same story. You shift to Psyche K and then all of a sudden Psyche kicked you out to Attack on Titan. Really? Cause a lot of y'all had that story. Like all y'all had that situation happen to you. I don't believe it. But it was kind of weird because during the shifting, people would be like, I'm going home to my real anime world. I'm going home. I'm just like, okay. And then they'd be like, <laughs> they would try to make the portal for anime characters to come in here. Like I remember that whole like comment section. And he's like, didn't Biden say that he would make anime characters real? I don't know about that. Like back in 2020, I would follow all the steps to shift and I never did. Like I would write my dream reality. I would listen to the subliminals and it just never happened. Like I would write my script. I wanted to shift to Haikyuu. I wanted to be the cross mail manager or Nekoma and it just didn't happen. I'm still upset about that. And honestly, I still want to shift to Haikyuu. I just want to try it for the one time. Just let me try shifting once. Let me experience it just once. Just one time. Cause sometimes I just be seeing them on my 40 page and they, they be sounding like it's heck of fun. Next topic, animation dances. <laughs> now I know many people aren't fond of them. I get it. But people did put a lot of time and effort into them, which I applaud them for. But the best animation meme I saw was that one where them Haikyuu characters was dancing to finesse. Oh, that was fire. Fire, 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 fire. It was amazing, beautiful. 
but a lot of the animation me or not animation memes so <laughs> a lot of the dancing animations were like Haikyuu and My Hero Academia characters like either dancing in maid dresses or like twerk doing some twerking or some base other basic TikTok dance um yeah I don't know this phase era of the animation dances it lasted so long I'm like damn like it even went on to other stuff like i remember seeing k-pop dances i remember watching animated taekook dance to wop i'm like oh my goodness oh my gosh that very specific kageyama and hinata <laughs> dancing to wop wow <laughs> i remember that vividly i feel like 2020 anime tiktok is low-key coming back because the other day i just saw bokuto dancing to um Tyla. <laughs> it was Tyla's dance. Someone animated Bokuto dancing to that. And I was like, wow, history does repeat itself. Speaking about the Haikyuu fandom, I remember that one person when Haikyuu ended, they were like, thank you Haikyuu for teaching me how to, you know, <laughs> I'm not hating on them at all, like, but it's just a funny video. And I still quote that video. Like after I watched the Haikyuu video in the theater, I did that in front of my friend, Loki embarrassing her for fun. But best believe I'm about to recreate that when Jujutsu Kaisen finally ends. Next thing, editing yourself with anime characters. Now, looking back on this one, I cringe a lot at it. Not at other people, but myself, because I also, I also participated in doing that. Mm, yeah, it wasn't the most pleasant, but you know, at the time, Exactly, like at the time, it was fun. I thought it was cool, but like, honestly, it's not that bad looking back on it. <laughs> because I'm okay with people drawing themselves with anime characters. I do that, drawing yourself with fictional characters, go for it, that's hella fun. But I don't know, just like 2020 editing yourself with the anime characters, it was like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's just funny because that'd be people's like, profile pictures on Instagram, TikTok, they'd be posting those pics. It was some people's Zoom profile pictures, like, y'all were bold. I couldn't go that far. Another mini thing were like weird cosplay duets. Um, have your fun on TikTok, do your duets or whatever. Like you're not bothering, you're not hurting nobody, right? But there's this one specific cosplay, <sighs> Dobby Hawks. I don't wanna go like too into detail for it because the girl that was Hawks, I think she was Hawks. She changed her whole life around. Like she doesn't do that anymore. She's, she does Christian content, like go you girl. I support you 100%. So honestly, like it does make me upset sometimes when I do, like I click her profile sometimes and it really does upset me when I just see people like, remember, remember, remember. Like obviously she freaking remembers. Like, I don't know why people keep doing that on TikTok. She's obviously a changed person. She doesn't post that shit anymore, but yeah it was um it was a time it was a time but yeah um that's gonna lead me to the end of the video uh i don't know how long this video is but my phone's about to die i think it's like at four percent now and this was fun i liked it i should probably go wash the dishes um because i kind of forgot and my dad's mad at me now but um yeah thanks for watching please like and subscribe and comment and share around okay Bye-bye, thank you. And I'm gonna leave important stuff in my description box to help people in Palestine and Sudan and you know, all that stuff that's going on in the world. Um, please check it out. Thank you, thank you, and bye-bye.